Hi lovely YouTubers, I'm here with the amazing Danielle Collins, the world's leading face yoga expert. And I'm here with Roxy Shahidi, TV actress, celeb and all round amazing yogi. And we're super excited to be bringing you Fabulous in 5. And Fabulous in 5 is about looking and feeling the very best version of yourself in just 5 moves a day. So if Danielle is new to you and you want to get a little bit more of her work, check her out at... And check Roxy out at... Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So this is face yoga for reducing headaches. So we're going to start by just placing our index fingers behind the back of our neck. So just at the base of our skull, you should feel a natural indentation there between two of the muscles that go down. You got yeah, that? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna press in there whilst we close our eyes and just take a few deep breaths. So as we breathe here, we just want to try and relax our face, relax our mind, relax our neck. But also pressing this point is excellent for helping to reduce headaches. It's very good for calming the mind and it's very good for tension that we may build up in our face and our head. So we're just going to do a little bit of massage now. So you can just massage in one direction and just go in as deep as feels comfortable for you. Yeah, How's that feeling? Really nice. I know, it's so yeah. nice. So you can use this as prevention for headaches, but you can also use this whilst you've got a headache. It really gives some nice gentle pain relief. And then circle the other way. Oh, this is really nice. We know, it's really lovely, this one. Good, and then we're just gonna take your index finger to the third eye point here. So a really calming point. That's it. And again, if you want, you can close your eyes. You can focus on your breathing in and out through your nose. And pressing this point is again excellent for reducing and preventing headaches. It's also very good for stress relief. It's very, very good to help you fall asleep at night as well. So we're just going to circle like gently in one button. direction. Pardon? It's like your off button. For bedtime. Oh, it is amazing, this one. And you can just circle in one direction. That's it. And you can just circle in the other direction, just feeling nice and chill, nice and calm. Do I look daft? Do I feel really relaxed? You look really relaxed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to take our two middle fingers and just come above the eyebrows, just in line with the pupils. That's it. And again, we're just going to press here. So these acupressure points are used a lot in face yoga and they're really, really good for not only helping the skin to look better, so they're helping the circulation, they're helping with boosting the collagen and elastin, ah. but they're also help, having those deeper benefits in terms of well-being as well. So we're just going to circle gently in one direction. Lovely. You look like you're going to fall asleep now, Roxy. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> my face might look like a dog, you know, when it's getting scratched yeah. and it's really relaxed. I don't know how it feels. Like. And then we're going to just circle in the other direction. Good. Okay, and then we're just going to come to the ears here. So you see that little triangle bit is in the ear, and then you've got that stringy bit above the triangle bit. And then by that stringy bit, you've got a little natural indentation there. You feel that? Yeah. yeah you press into that both sides. Okay. So again, you can just close the eyes, breathe into it. So this is really good if you've got blocked sinuses or blocked ears. It's also excellent for helping to reduce and prevent headaches. And it's very good for the circulation in the sides of the face as well. That's it. So let's take a nice deep breath in. And out. And then we're just going to circle in one direction. So they're quite easy to find these points, are they? Because yeah, of the little uh, sort of indentations. I think and... if you describe them well, then you can find them quite easily. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't know they were there. Exactly, and then circle the other way. So these points have been used for thousands of years in India and in China, um, but they're used more and more in the West now as well. So it's great that people are using these for all the holistic benefits. And then we're just going to come to our temples. So again, natural indentation there yeah. at the temples. You feel that? Yeah. And you can just close the eyes. You can relax into it. Again, we can focus on our breath. So breathing is super important for reducing and preventing headaches as well. So breathing in through the nose, just letting the abdomen rise. And breathing out, just allowing the abdomen to lower. 
And you can circle in one direction. So we always actually go to this point, don't we? We've got a headache mm, anyway, yeah, sort of rub our temples. Yeah. Um, but sometimes sort of our gut instinct of where we should go is right. That's I think it. I'm taking the way. time to sit down for a few minutes yeah. and just relax yeah. is so beneficial because I find when I've got a headache, I might give my temples a quick rub, but then I'm still dashing round. I think sitting and committing for a few minutes just to relaxing feels Definitely. great. Definitely. You can just bring your hands down and we just finish by taking a nice deep breath. So just closing our eyes, inhale. And exhale, just letting go. And you can open out your eyes when you're ready. And that completes your five moves for helping to reduce headaches. Thank you. You're welcome.